We've been living in Active House Centennial Park for six months, which means we're coming to the end of our test drive. And we've been focusing on sharing the experience of this high performance house. The Active House standard has three main principles, energy, environment, and comfort. And the energy and environment of the house are really designed in by the builders and architects. We found our experience was really all about the comfort of the house. My comfort highlight is the fresh air. I found that I sleep better in this house and I feel better, I'm more alert, and that's because of the air quality. One of my favorite things about Active House Centennial Park is the connectivity. So not just connected to the outdoors through those great windows and the side courtyard with the birch tree, um, but also to be connected to the people in the space. Being able to either see or hear where the girls are at all times gives them more freedom in their play and allows me to be more productive. When we have visitors come in the house, one of the first impressions is always the brightness. And then they see the windows and they're like, oh, of course it's so bright. It really is the daylight, like the skylights, the big windows. I mean, those are what makes the big impression on people coming in. Of course, we've heard the neighbors when they did the tour, they said the house is super sturdy, you don't hear the footsteps. Now that the season's changing and it's getting colder, you feel the thermal comfort of the space. You can walk past one of those big windows and not feel that chill. Living in Active House inspired us to change our own home. So we've added in eight skylights and a bunch of insulation to make it more comfortable. I had a lot of fun living in this house, trying to verify and demonstrate uh, how the house performs using different types of devices and experiments. Well, we've mentioned to our girls that our time at Active House is coming to an end, and I have to say the response was not great. None of them want to leave what we call the big house. And for Lucy, our eldest, who hates wearing socks and shoes, I think she's really gonna miss that overall comfort of the floor being the same temperature year round. And Eleanor, she's gonna miss the big spaces, but also the small spaces, because she likes to tuck in and play games in little nooks and crannies. Poppy for sure is gonna miss the sofa. I think they all will. That thing is magical. Great Golf has built a really special house here. And I really hope that it can influence the design and builder communities in Canada.